It's the show we've all been waiting for. Well now, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which sees Anson Mount back as Captain Christopher Pike, has started filming the last episode of its first season. We've got some details, let's hit it. Welcome to Trek Central, I'm your host Captain Jack, let's get right into it. Don't forget if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media for the latest daily updates on the Star Trek universe. Hit it. And Strangely Worlds has been filming since February 2021, with filming going smoothly even with all the COVID restrictions and guidelines still being in place in Toronto. The latest filming news comes from the star of the show himself, Anson Mount. Mount tweeted last week on July 7th that the last episode of Season 1 had started shooting that day. He also teased that old school Star Trek fans are going to be very excited to see what the crew are trying to pull off with that one. He elaborated on this as well, by saying they're getting many things done, even things he's not attempted as an actor before. Coming from Mount, this is some fantastic news, and really connects with what we've heard about Strange New Worlds from the get-go. That being that the series will be unlike the heavily serialised season-long plot arcs of Star Trek Discovery and Star Trek Picard, instead going for the episodic route. Co-show and Akiva Goldsman describe the series as an adventure of the week style, with serialised character arcs. We don't have any details on what Anson Mount means when it comes to old school Trekkies. Likely it's connected with Star Trek the original series. Co-star Rebecca Romain has also hinted at this, describing Strange New Worlds as in keeping with the original series as standalone episodes, but a little lighter. Speaking of classic original series connections, we recently got a brand new look at the USS Enterprise's dedication plaque, or commissioning plaque as some like to call it. This has changed since we last saw it in Star Trek Discovery Season 2, now going back to the original gold bronze star we're more familiar with in Star Trek. It's worth noting that the canon blend has happened with the Enterprise being referred to as its Starship class, but also as its actual class of Constitution. This is because the original TOS Enterprise was just called a Starship class. However, as Star Trek went on, it was changed to the Constitution class instead. In general production news, we know that everything is still going smoothly for Strange New Worlds, and that filming is scheduled to end at the end of July, so there's only a couple of weeks production left on Season 1 so far. Cast and crew are really excited for fans to see what they've been cooking up. Director of Photography, Magdalena Gorka, has recently shared some Instagram stories as the crew prep for shooting the final of the upcoming series. We can see multiple crew members running around and getting ready. Chris Fisher, who is also an executive producer, will direct the final episode, and also shared a picture of his set chair, along with a rather interesting hat. Very fabulous, I must say. Not only have the crew been sharing their excitement, but the cast of the new show have as well. Actress Celia Gooding has been tweeting about filming, including sharing that they'd wrap the big first day on the final. She's also noted that fans are not ready for what's coming up in the new Star Trek series. Now, back in June, director Amanda Michael Rowe shared she was directing Strange New World's 8th episode, with excitement via Twitter. Oh, and also several writing staff also headed up to Toronto to be on set for filming of the episodes. They've been hyping up the series, all clearly filled to be a part of the show. Davy Perez, Anita Johnson and Bill Walkoff have all shared pictures online, and some of them are on screen right now. After months of radio silence, the sharing of excitement on social media seems to indicate a slow build-up to get fans ready for a very long, anticipated, and maybe a little overdue look of the series. San Diego Comic Con is just around the corner, with panels set for Friday to July 23rd, just as filming is officially set to wrap on Season 1. In terms of a teaser or trailer for the series, many of us are eager to see the Enterprise and Captain Pike back on our screens. However, right now things are silent on that frontier. Both Discovery and Picard have had teasers, yet nothing for Strange New Worlds. But with SDCC on the horizon, things may just be set to change. The event is huge with studios and publicity is a must. With such an exciting clambering around the latest Trek series, it seems the best might be being saved to last. Anson Mount also stated in a reply to a fan on Twitter a few weeks ago that there will definitely be one when the time is right. There's a whole process and we like to have as much footage at our disposal as possible before we start cutting together trailers, promos, etc. Since we're still doing shooting, we're still collecting. This is what he said, you can see it on screen now. Of course, it's not necessary for a show to complete principal photography for dropping a trailer as Picard Season 2 shows. But with filming completing the Strange New Worlds by the time SDCC rolls around, they really have no excuse thinking about it. 
The actors also been teasing a final especially would. Last episode of Season 1 starts shooting today. Old school fans are going to get very excited to see what we're trying to pull off with this one, getting to see many things I've never attempted as an actor, so much fun. As we earlier mentioned, this will answer Mike put on his Twitter account. As mentioned, SDCC is just around the corner, so it might be possible we do see an upcoming teaser trailer, but we're going to have to wait and see. The official Star Trek Universe panel on July 23rd is at 10am Pacific Time. We'll be covering the Star Trek SDC experience along with both animated series of Lower Decks and Star Trek Prodigy here on the channel. Stay tuned to our social media for any breaking news or surprise Captain Pike cameos that might be lurking in a torpedo tube around the corner. We'll keep you updated. Honestly, a moment of personal reflection for the upcoming series of Strange New Worlds is something I've been waiting for for some time now. This blend of classic Star Trek mixed with some of the modern aspects could potentially be the formula that connects the bridges and divides between young and old Trek fans. Hearing the cast and crew talk so positively about Strange New Worlds and how it complements the original series where the franchise started is super cool to hear. Of course, only time will tell, so for now, we're going to have to wait and see. Remember, the series is likely to set to debut on Paramount in 2022. However, there has been no official confirmation yet, and this will likely come at a later date. Are you looking forward to Star Trek Strange New Worlds? Let us know your thoughts in an excitement in the comments section below. If you're talking about Star Trek, then uh, we want to hear about it. Now, if you do want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from myself and the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media, join our community Discord server, and of course, visit our website. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with more San Diego Comic Con news, and of course, everything else. Live long and prosper, my friends. Good day.